In this video, we will show you how to downgrade any Samsung device from Android 11 to Android 10. To begin with, we will show you how to download the Android 10 stock firmware for your Samsung device. In this regard, you could either use the Freeja tool. Link download Freeja tool in the description. You may refer to our detailed guide on how to download Samsung stock firmware via Freeja tool. Step 2. Extract Samsung Downgrade Firmware Now that you have downloaded the firmware, extract it to a convenient location on your PC. After extraction, you should get the following 5 files, keep them handy, as they will be used to downgrade your Samsung device from Android 11 to Android 10. Step 3. Install Odin Next up, it's time to install Odin on your PC. So download it and then extract it. You should see around 4 or 5. Double click the exe file to launch the tool. Step 4. Enabling USB debugging on an Android device. On the device, go to settings. Tap on about. Tap on software information. Tap the build number 7 times to make developer options available. Then enable the OEM unlocking to allow the bootloader to be unlocked. Then turn on USB debugging option. Step 5. Boot device to download mode. Power off your device. Connect a USB cable to your PC. Then press and hold the volume up plus volume down plus power button for a few seconds. You will now have to boot your Samsung device to download mode.
Now that we have checked all the requirements, it's time to install the Android 10 firmware file onto your Samsung device via Odin. The IDCOM section should be highlighted and should display a port number as well. This signifies that the tool was able to recognize your device. It's now time to load the BL, AP, CP, and CSC files to Odin. Click on BL and upload the BL firmware file. Then click on AP and upload the AP firmware file. This might take some time. After this, click CP and load the CP firmware file. Finally, click CSC and upload the home CSC file. Once you have loaded all four files, Go to the Options section of Odin and check Auto Reboot and F. Reset Time. Finally, hit the Start button and wait for the process to complete. As soon as the installation is done, you should get the pass message and your device will boot to the OS. You may now disconnect it from your PC and close the tool.